The Better Business Bureau just released their top 10 riskiest scams for Canadians to watch out for. As CTV's Dave Charbonneau reports, customers can protect themselves and stop the thieves by doing some basic research. One day I woke up, my phone didn't work, it just said no service. This Bitcoin broker, who goes by the name Mr. Bitcoins, says he's been the victim to cryptocurrency scams more than once. Went to my phone provider, they SIM swapped my phone, so basically made their phone my phone. They were able to access my email, my exchange. I would consider this close to the bottom. It went close to 20. With access to all of his information, the scammers were able to clean out his entire Bitcoin account. Basically like 10 Bitcoins, and Bitcoins is like 20K, so it's still like 200 grand Canadian. And, um, I mean, it's just gone in a blink of an eye. Every year, the Better Business Bureau takes all of the data that comes into their scam tracker and then assesses the risk to the scams. Cryptocurrency is number two on the list, right behind renovation scams. Home improvement scams were the riskiest scam uh, reported because you can lose a lot of money. There's a lot involved with that. One other surprise this year, younger people are getting scammed now more than ever. It's not older people who are losing money to scams. It's 18 to 24 year olds. So have that conversation with your kids about safety online. They grew up with the internet. It's not something that is scary to them. Rounding up the top five scams of 2022 are advanced fee loans, investment scams, and employment scams. The Better Business Bureau says always make sure to use a credit card when shopping online because they have built-in fraud protection, whereas money transfers and debit cards don't. And don't respond to text messages from unknown numbers or click on the links within them. Texting scams were up 39% over 2021, so a lot of scammers are using texting as a method of contact. As for Mr. Bitcoins, he says cryptocurrency is a risky game and investors can lose everything if they aren't careful. You can't reverse the money, so once the money's been sent, nobody can get the money back. Yeah. It's irreversible. Dave Charbonneau, CTV News.